Hey guys, welcome to Functional Print Friday. We're out here in my barn today and I want to take a look at something on the tractor. So I made a piece on here that adds on to a kit that I added that makes it a lot better, a much cleaner install. So if I climb up here, this stick here uh, operates the, the loader. So it brings the loader up and down and tilts the bucket up and down so you can pick stuff up and drop it. Uh, normally, it's just a thin steel shaft that comes up with one of these guys here on the top. Uh, to this machine, I added a third function kit, which gives you these two additional buttons and a couple extra hydraulic lines that go down to the, the front to op operate uh, some sort of accessory implement. In my case, I've got uh, an auger uh, there that attaches to the front of this machine and pushing one button. Uh, turns the auger in one direction and pushing the other button turns it in the other direction. It's basically a directional control valve and an extra set of hydraulic hookups in the front. Now this is made by Land Pride and Land Pride is owned by Kubota. Uh, Kubota is the company that makes this tractor so it's essentially from the same company. Um, it is the most official third function kit you can add to your machine and at $1,100 uh, I was pretty disappointed in it out of the box. Uh, it consisted of basically just this knob here um, a steel section down here that you can't see, it's already covered up um, with two long bolts sticking out that stuck out way past the handle um, and then just a piece of wire dangling down um, that followed the, uh, the steel rod here uh, for the, the, uh, the loader control valve. Uh, what I did is I designed a piece that brings all that together. So if you notice, you don't see any wire here and instead of a thin steel rod uh, that was maybe Oh, I don't know, maybe uh, 3 eighths of an inch. Uh, this is a nice thick, it's probably about an inch thick uh, piece going down here. And it's all sleek, all kind of fits together. Um, there's no exposed uh, nuts or bolts hanging out. And this guy is locked in place. So how'd I do it? Well, I designed this piece here. And as you can see, it has got a uh, kind of a funny shape going down the inside here. Uh, this partial diameter here is the same diameter as that steel rod uh, that makes up this uh, the actual shaft coming up uh, that this mounts onto and the the other section there uh, that that sort of funky shape that's actually where the wires run through and I tapered this as well so the diameter of of this overall piece matches the diameter of the lower part of the metal clamp uh, that holds this guy onto that rod. So this piece here and this piece up here is all one piece. I'll find a picture of what this guy looked like before uh, before I made this and installed it and cleaned it all up. Yeah, so hopefully you can see better on this side. Uh, this, this is covered up with heat shrink tubing and this whole 3D printed piece is covered up with heat shrink tubing uh, as well. Uh, it keeps it a lot cleaner, uh, seals the weather out. There is like a piece of heat shrink tubing up here covered with another piece of heat shrink tubing and then that's covered with a final piece of heat shrink tubing. Uh, that transitions it down to the rubber boot down here. So the whole thing is sealed up, nice smooth surface, stays clean. Um, it's held up really well. I've had this on here for about a year and a half now. Um, and again, it's held up really well. This is printed almost solid. I think I printed this at around uh, like a 75 or an 80% infill, which gives you an almost uh, solid piece, but gives a little bit of extra room if you've got any oozing or anywhere uh, for it to disappear into the infill rather than mess up your, your outside layer lines. So you can see down here at the bottom, you can see how kind of how this tapers down. If I hold this one next to it, and you can see that notch here on this piece that allows the, the wire loom to exit and come down. And then from that point on, the installation is the same as what they recommend in the kit. Here's, so these wires, by the way, if you're into uh, tractors or hydraulics at all, uh, these two buttons are basically just actuating a solenoid valve here um, that reverses this hydraulic valve. So in the, in the center position or in the, the uh, the, the off uh, position. There's no flow uh, whatsoever through these lines. Once you push a button, either, either the, the hydraulic fluid is flowing in this direction or it's flowing in this direction. And whichever one it's flowing, if it's flowing out this way, then it's flowing back in this way and vice versa. So it's actually, it's a pretty simple, uh, pretty simple hookup, but gives you a lot of flexibility as to what equipment you can run on the front. That just uh, terminates to these connectors up here. And as I mentioned, I have an auger uh, that I run with this and you can see there's a set of hydraulic lines here that connect to that and a big hydraulic motor and then these pieces here that dig into the ground uh, to make holes for fence posts or 
uh, you know, whatever else. Uh, there's even a larger one here for, like, if you're planting, um, you know, like smaller trees, uh, rather than having to dig the hole, it gives you a nice round hole just to drop it right into. So I think this is a great example of uh, what I'm always talking about, how 3D printing can, you know, enhance uh, and improve so many other different things that you own and that you're into. Uh, when I first put this third function kit on here, I was really, really disappointed with how it looked. Now, I realize aesthetics, you know, are not a, shouldn't be a huge deal on a tractor, but having that wire dangling out like that and having those bolts sticking out, it's just, it's just something to catch on. Um, when you operated the loader, uh, your hand, your, your index finger would constantly catch on those exposed bolts. And I'd already caught a uh, tree branch uh, doing some logging with this machine uh, on that, that wire and almost ripped it out um, from where it's connected down here. Uh, this cleans the whole thing up, makes it really easy to keep clean. Oftentimes I'll operate this with muddy hands um, and this all just rinses off nicely now uh, versus having you know this loom here getting all filled up with, uh, with mud. All right, so I realize there's probably gonna be quite a few people that find this video that maybe aren't into 3D printing and maybe this is their first time in the channel. Guys, welcome. Um, I give away everything I cover on this, this channel uh, for free, the design files, to 3D print your own. If you don't have a 3D printer, I do make a lot of these projects available for sale on one of my websites as well. Uh, I'm probably going to list this for sale on pyr8moto.com, piratemoto.com. I'll, I'll link that uh, down in the description of this video, and I'll put the web address here on the screen as well. I'm also going to give one of these away uh, for free. Uh, I actually I printed a second one just so I could demo it for this video. I don't have any use for it. Uh, so if you want to win this guy, including the heat shrink tubing and everything that you're going to need to go ahead and get this installed on your tractor and clean up your third function kit, all you got to do is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and then leave a comment down below and tell me why you want it. That's all you got to do. I will pick a winner for this. Uh, let's see, I'll pick a winner next Friday. Let's go take a look at the design for this. It's printed in black, which makes it a bit difficult to, uh, to see. So let me bring up the design um, and, uh, and show you on my computer. All right, guys, and here is the design for this. And uh, it's much easier to see the cross section of this here on the computer versus looking at the 3D printed part. Uh, you can see we have the round section here that slips over the steel shaft uh, of the loader valve. And then this section here for those wires uh, to route through. And this is offset on purpose. Uh, the, the handle part that has the two buttons, it slips over uh, that steel shaft and then the bolts come in and clamp it from this side. So it is actually offset on that steel rod itself. And if we rotate this in the right direction uh, with this section here facing um, down, this lines up just perfect. So if we take a look here at the other end, you can kind of see. So notice this is tapered on this side, but flat on this side, because we've got to get back down to that center point of that steel shaft where it goes into the boot at the, at the loader valve. So to do that, we stay flat here. We taper down on this side and you can see this actually tightens up a little bit too where those wires run through. It gets a little thinner here, uh, but tapers inward, which acts nicely to just kind of pinch that in the wire loom a bit just to keep it from slipping around. And again, you don't really see this part here. This is the part that's facing uh, downward uh, as well. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to see here on the design. Uh, again, if you've got a 3D printer and you're interested in this, uh, I'll have the STLs available for free at my site, fpfdesigns.com. Uh, if you came and found this video looking to clean up your third function kit on your tractor, but you're not into 3D printing, again, check out my other site, piratemoto.com. I'll link that below, and I'll, I'm going to offer these for sale so you can pick one up for your machine. And don't forget, if you're watching this video shortly after it came out, I'm giving one of these away for free. Again, all you got to do is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and then leave me a comment down below that just says why you want one. It could just be as simple as tired of looking at the wire dangling on my tractor. Please sign me up. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if this is your first time on the channel, I do a new video like this every single Friday. It features either a design of my own that improves something around the house, in the shop, yard, uh, out in the barn, uh, or somebody else's design uh, that I found online or that they submitted to me and I thought was really cool. So guys, if you like this and you want to see more of it, hit that subscribe button. And if you do, I will see you next Friday. Mm -hmm.